Hey everyone, get ready for an exciting ride. Today I have an awesome trick to share with you on how to use Game Guardian without needing to root your device. Yes, you heard it right. It works like a charm. Even if you're rocking the latest Android versions, like 12 or 13 so, sit back, relax, and make sure you watch the entire video because you won't want to miss a single second of this game changing information. So let's get started with the trick. Open any browser. In this demonstration, I'm using the Chrome browser. Once you're in, locate the search box and enter lootandlearn.com slash x8sandbox or simply click on the link provided in the video's description. Click on the Go to the Download Page button. Scroll down the page until you find the Download button. Click on the Download button. This is the official website of X8 Sandbox. Download the X8 Sandbox from here. Please wait for the download to complete. Once the download is finished, proceed with installing the X8 Sandbox. After installation, close your browser and open the X8 Sandbox. Grant all required permissions. If your device's version is Android 12 or above, please proceed with the following steps. However, if your device's version is lower than Android 12, kindly skip the video and jump to the timestamp 4 minute and 20 seconds. Now let's go through the steps specifically designed for users with Android 12 or higher versions. Begin by selecting the Activate Now button, and then proceed to click on the Repair button. Before proceeding, ensure that your device is connected to a Wi-Fi network. If you don't have access to Wi-Fi, you can use another phone as a hotspot. Step 1. Open Developer Options in System Settings. To begin, click on the To Open button provided. This will take you directly to the Settings menu on your phone. Proceed to Locate and select System Settings. Once you're inside the System Settings, locate and open the About Phone option. Within the About Phone section, find the Software Information and open it. Look for the Build Number option in the Software Information. Tap on it seven times consecutively. If your phone is password protected, enter the password when prompted. This action will activate the developer options. Step two, open the wireless debugging switch in developer options. Proceed to X8 Sandbox's dashboard. Click on the To Open button to open the Developer Options menu. Scroll down the menu and find the Wireless Debugging Options, then enable it. Step 3. Pair the device with X8 Sandbox. On X8 Sandbox's dashboard, click on the To Pair button. This will directly take you to the Developer Options menu. Click on the Wireless Debugging Options. Select the Pair Device with Pairing Code option. A six-digit Wi-Fi pairing code will be displayed. Pull down the notification bar on your phone and enter the provided code. On the X8 Sandbox's dashboard, tap the Start X8 Sandbox button and then click on Ignore and Start. The initial startup may take two to five minutes, so please wait for it to complete. Now our X8 sandbox is almost ready. Located in the bottom right corner, go to settings. From this menu, enable the six to four bit app support option. Then scroll down and find the option, mount phone SD card and enable it. After that, 
Tap the back arrow in the top left corner and click OK to restart the X8 sandbox. Let's proceed with downloading and installing Game Guardian. First, open the browser app on your sandboxed environment. Enter Game Guardian in the search box and initiate the search. Locate and access the official website of Game Guardian. Scroll down the page until you find the Download This File button. Click on it and agree to the terms and conditions for the download to begin. Ensure that you download the GameGuardian.apk file. Wait for the download to complete. Once the download finishes, proceed with the installation. After successfully installing Game Guardian, open the application. If prompted, grant any necessary permissions and install any additional Game Guardian components, if required. In my case, everything was automatically handled. Now, locate the Start button situated in the lower right corner and click on it. This action will cause a floating Game Guardian window to appear on the screen. To demonstrate its functionality, I will now add a game to the sandboxed environment. I will open the selected game end once it has launched. Click on the floating game guardian icon. You will notice that Game Guardian operates smoothly without encountering any errors. If you encounter any issues, be sure to check out the video description for troubleshooting tips. In a future video, I will demonstrate how to utilize Game Guardian to locate and modify in game currency codes according to your requirements. If you are viewing this video a few days later, you can find the link in the description. Additionally, make sure to subscribe for further updates. Thanks for watching.